In this tool, we're going to be looking at how to use while loops. Now, a common um, thing to do in programming is to repeat something. So, for example, let's say I want to display the numbers uh, from 100 down to 1. Now, I could, if I wanted to, uh, print 100, print 99, print 98, and so on and so forth. I might be there a little while doing that, so clearly there is a much better way of doing it. Loops are pretty much the staple of uh, most programs, and I haven't got any facts and figures on this, but around about 80% of uh, programs' execution time will be spent in only about 20% of the code, the 80-20 rule. Now, I remember reading that somewhere, I don't know how true it is, but you know your program will spend a lot of time in loops regardless. So let's have a look at this program of printing numbers 100 down to 1. Now, I'm going to start off with a variable. I'm just going to call it x, and that's going to be my starting point. Okay, so in order for a loop to work, we need um, a starting point for the loop. In this case, x is equal to 100. I then want to obviously print x out. Now, if I execute that, obviously it's just going to print 100. Now, if I then want to uh, print it uh, and you know have it going down, I'll need to obviously subtract one from x. And then finally, I need to introduce my while loop. So I want my loop to keep going until x is 1. So while x is greater or equal to 1, and I'm just going to tab these here. And this is the finished loop. So if I execute that, you can see it goes from 100 all the way down to 1. So let's explore this while loop in a bit more detail. Now, as I said before, um, it must have a starting point. Now, if you are going to be using a while loop, nine times out of ten, you're going to need a new variable. Okay, um, this variable basically keeps track of when the loop should end. Okay, so when the loop should start and when the loop should end. When you're dealing with numbers, it's a pretty straightforward idea. You know, you've got the start number there, and I've got my end condition. Now, this is the same kind of conditions you find in if statements, um, and a while will loop if the condition next to it is true. So you've got the while keyword followed by a condition, followed by a colon in the same way you have for if statements. Then exactly like if statements you got the true block of code. So the code inside it will basically uh, uh, run every time the loop runs. So if this condition is true it will run this code um, and keep going like that. Now this line of code, the x equals x minus 1, if I do this, I'm going to execute it and you will see basically a, a stream of hundreds. Okay, If I run it, you can see that's just printing out 100 and that will continue forever. The reason why it's um, running forever is because I've created an infinite loop. The x equals x minus 1 is now outside of the while loop. Now I can tell it's outside the while loop because it's not indented in. Remember, in Python, you have to indent uh, code so it's inside a, a true block or a while block or an if uh, block. Now, the x equals x minus 1 is actually what gets it to end eventually. Because basically, I'm subtracting 1 from x each time, and that effectively brings it down to 1 eventually. If I accidentally made a mistake here and said, well, x is less than or equal to 1, you see it doesn't run at all. And that's because x is 100, 100 is, is um, not less than 1, which is why it didn't run. So you've got to be a little bit careful about your condition, and you must always have a way for your loop to um, stop. If you don't have a way to, for your loop to stop, then obviously it will go on forever. Let's have a look at text. So let's, have a, um, let's maybe get a name. Uh, so raw input enter a name. Then I might say while well, name does not equal but print I do not like that name and then I'm just going to copy 
this in again. Now, remember I said that a loop should always have a, ver a variable? So in this case, my variable is name. And because it's going to have text, I can't do the same way of stopping it. In this case, the only time it will stop is if name is actually equal to Bert. So after the loop, I'm just going to put I like Bert. Like that. So when this uh, code runs, if we execute it, if I enter a name, say Fred, I don't like that name, but if I enter the name Bert, it will stop. And that's because uh, of this condition here. So when it's not equal to Bert, it's going to run the code. So it will uh, print again, and then it's overwriting the variable name. And this is this is how it actually will eventually stop. Eventually, um, someone will enter the name Bert. Well, they may do. I don't know. Um, but the idea is that someone will eventually enter it, and that's what will make the loop eventually stop at the end. So this is a very brief introduction to uh, the the basic idea of a while loop. Um, and uh, you'll see quite a lot of while loops in uh, later code and also uh, we'll be looking at other types of loops such as the uh, for loop.